Well, if you're one of many people, such as myself, trying to get back into a healthier lifestyle so you feel better getting into that bathing suit, what you're putting into your body and how much you're putting in could be sidetracking you and sidelining your efforts because you're probably eating more than you think you are. To break it all down for us, West Bloomfield's own Coach Gail Taub joins us here on The Splash Live. Thank you so much for being with us as always. Good morning. Happy, beautiful day. It's so sunny out today. I know there's something about the sunshine <laughs> yeah. that just makes you happy. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a sizzler, but still, it's great to be outside. I'll take this over snow anytime. But, um, you know, we because we always talk kind of beforehand about, uh, you know, what you're going to be covering. And I learned so much from you because uh, the packaging can be tricky and a little bit deceiving. Yes, it certainly can. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about the concept of serving size versus portion size. Did you guys know that they are not the same, not even in the same territory? So basic definition, uh, a serving size is an exact amount of food. It is what you find that is listed on the back of a package with the nutrition information. And at the top, it tells you what that serving size is. That serving size is an exact amount of food that is used to calculate the rest of the numbers that you see here. But portion size is the amount of food that you actually eat, the portion that is on your plate. Very, very different. I'm gonna give you an example. So a portion or a serving size, according to the label here, is a quarter cup. And I actually have a visual here. This is a quarter cup of almonds. Um, my portion size for me, though, look at the difference. Completely, completely different. So this is, again, an exact amount of food. And this is the appropriate amount of food if I were to eat nuts for me. Twice the amount. So. So this hopefully gives you a little bit of an idea of the difference. You know, and that is so easy um, to really kind of get screwed up on because especially when we're talking about things like nuts, because you think, mm -hmm. oh, they're healthy, but they, you know, most nuts have a lot of calories. Uh, I love that you said that because that word healthy is very, very confusing and misleading to a lot of people. Um, we talk about what is healthy, but unless you put it in context for yourself, then we don't know. And can you be unhealthy eating quality foods? Absolutely. Can I eat too many nuts in a day? A hundred percent. And look at the size, right? So it's always a lot smaller than you think it might be. Right. However, I'm going to show you a, another example. Here's a healthy option, which is a bag salad. Okay. So we've got some vegetables and we've got some ingredients that come in there. Plus the dressing, according to the serving size that's on the back, this bag contains uh, three and a half servings, which gives us about one serving size is this little teeny amount. Oh, wow. However, and that's used again to calculate the numbers that are on the back of the package if you create this the way that it is put in the package, right? You use all the dressing and the toppings. This amount for me, my serving size of a vegetable is more like the whole bag, believe it or not. Um, it's just a short of the whole bag. So um, the confusion starts, and this is where a lot of people mix and match concepts. You look at the serving size, you look at the calories, but you're counting your macros, but you're looking at your hand for a portion amount, but your friend tells you that you need more protein, but all of these, all of them collide. And most people uh, don't know how to kind of simplify and know what is right for themselves. So I have a couple of ideas for you. If I you're was just gonna ask that, so yes, how do we do it? How do we know, what do we do? <laughs> Number one, I would highly suggest you back away just for a moment and think, what are my goals? And are they working for me? Is the way that I'm eating, regardless of what you call it or the portion or the serving or the calories or the macro, whatever, is it working for you? And if the answer is yes, keep doing what you're doing. Don't mm -hmm. stop. If the answer is I'm not sure because I have these weight loss goals or I have these health and wellness goals for myself, 
and I am very confused. My suggestion next would be to pay attention just for the next few days. Notice what you're eating. Use your logic. If you feel like one or two scoops of nuts and a handful of nuts seems in your mind like it's probably too much, it probably is. You might wanna just stop and notice. And then thirdly, guys, if this topic confuses you and all you want to do is know what is right for you, not your neighbor, not your friend, not the lady or the man online that has this perfect body that you're looking for for yourself, if you're still confused, you got to call someone that knows what they're doing so they can help you focus on yourself, understand your goals, understand what you're doing today that's working, understand what you're doing today that's not working, and help you to simplify. I am one of those people that can help you to do that. And it just seemed like, you know, on the surface, it seemed simple enough. Yeah. But then day to day to day, you start to look at these things and you get so confused because there's so much information out there yeah. on the internet, on YouTube, on TikTok, yeah. that I feel like you need to find someone that you can trust that can yeah. come up with a plan that's very specific for you. Yes. And here's the other thing, you know, notice what you've done before. Uh, and is it working for you? That's kind of the key, guys. Is it working? Not did it work for a period of time and then it stopped working. That's not necessarily working. I don't know a lot of people that want to lose 10 pounds and then gain it back in a couple of months. To me, that's an idea that you might want to think about. What are you trying to accomplish? Um, all of these programs out there, all of the people that are there to help you, all of these social media ideas and the news and all of the things that are helping to you, helping you to figure out what's right for you. They don't know you. They don't know you. A lot of it is marketing. A lot of it is trying to get you to come to them for their product or their system or their you know expertise. But really guys, you are the expert in you. So find a professional that will listen to you, understand you and know how to help you for the long term. Very different. Those are coaches not necessarily trainers or expert in a medical field. It's a coach. And I feel like you really, um, in the long run, you're probably going to save yourself money because you're not falling for all of the gimmicks. Oh, Ronnie, yes, for sure. You start to focus on what is right for you and you practice and you learn over time, which settles your desire to go out and try the next best thing to desperately try to get where you're trying to go. So taking your time, taking that step back, getting the guts up. And I know it takes some courage guys to give a call to someone like me um, that is really here to help you authentically. Um, and giving that a try might just be your saving grace. So do you recommend um, when it comes to our portion size and our serving size that we actually get a scale? and mm. measure the food that we eat? So here, that's a great question too. I don't teach, uh, I teach looking at the food. If you come to me and we talk about food and you don't have a, an already really, really important belief system and the way that you're eating, which I will respect by the way, because it's working for you in that way, then I teach looking at your food and understanding how to see very quickly with a, ver a visual reference that's appropriate for you, the appropriate amount for you. So scales, you don't always have them with you. You become dependent on something and then when they're not there, you're like, well, what was I supposed to do? So that's why using your brain and understanding what's right for you and your eyes uh, can help you to, in any situation, make the right choices for yourself that you know are gonna serve you well without all of the tools and the needs that may or may not be um, accessible at any given moment. Right. And we know people tend to stick with things longer if it's simplified. Simplified and meaningful. I think this is the key. I can tell you the way I do what I do is so easy, but for you, it might not be. So we find out what is easy for you and you have the control then. And that's the beauty of working together with me is that you are pre you're present and you're helping to make those decisions. I have a saying, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, people don't resist change. They resist being changed. 
So even I will not tell you what to do. We're gonna have a conversation and we're gonna figure it out together using a system that works for you. Such wise words. And with that, um, Coach Gail, I always feel like uh, you're my personal little uh, coach guru <laughs> here on the show each and every week. How can people find you? You can uh, check me out uh, on my website, coachgale.com. Uh, you can message me through there, see what's going on. I have some workshops going on right now, so you might want to get involved in those. Um, you can also call me or text me at 248-885-1400 and find me on Instagram and Facebook. The Instagram uh, handle is Gazelle Health with two H's at the end. Well, it's always great talking to you. We uh, appreciate your time and your advice as always. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the week, and uh, I hope you have uh, fun plans out uh, enjoying the sunshine. Right back at you, Ronnie. Always a pleasure.